Beast is the newest film sent to theaters to die, starring Idris Elba and a pissed off Mufasa. Let's talk about it. For the five of you planning to see this in theaters, I will say this is going to be a spoiler free review. I can only ask that you subscribe to the channel Adam Does Movies as I post tons of movie reviews, content, sometimes I'll sprinkle in some TV material here and there, each and every week. The star of the film is obviously Idris Elba, who can make even filing paperwork look interesting. Charlto Copley's in this too, haven't seen him in a hot minute. Nice to have him show up here. I wish he had more screen time, because as it stands, most of the film is Idris and his two girls. And I have to say, the girls, they're trying. They're cute little things, but it, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. And not so much because the girls aren't believable, although the younger one is having a hard time convincing me there's a lion after them. But it's more so that they're obnoxious. The writing that they have to work with, oh my god, some of the decisions in the script are perplexing. The movie clearly takes some inspiration from Jurassic Park. At one point, the daughter even is rocking a Jurassic Park tee. They have scenes where the girls are left alone and the lion's skulking in the background, and you're thinking, okay, this is the kitchen scene from J Park 1. You know, but done much worse. The script is so hell-bent on having you frustrated with these kids to the point where you hate them, and I'm just thinking, Idris, dump the kids off the side, let the lion kill them, and just get on with your life. It's not worth it. The older daughter actively does the opposite of what the dad says, constantly getting in harm's way or screwing things up, and it's just not fun to watch that play out. There's a scene in the Jeep where the dad's looking around taking stock of the inventory, and he picks up a couple bottles and says to the kids, look, this is all we have for water. We have to conserve this. The girls instantly start bitching him out. Like, ah, this isn't fair, dad. That's all the water we have? That's not enough water, you idiot. What are you thinking here? Like he can just run to Target quick. Like they're not in a horrible situation where a lion's been attacking them. It's just so tone deaf in the moment. I'm like, well, these kids are garbage. Throw the bottle of water at one of them. So outside of the frustrating cast, obviously we have the lion to deal with. And I will say the CG lion, the beast, very well done. I'm sure the budget wasn't too insane for this movie. It's clear they put some dollars into the lions though. They also spend some budget on CG flies. There's a nice kill room sequence where there's a bunch of corpses on the ground, which of course leads to flies all over the place. Well, the lead characters are there having a little convo, taking it all in, the scene around them, and there's flies everywhere, but they don't once go like this or like wave one off. It's almost like the flies were added in post-production. The film is rated R. I think it could have got away with a PG-13. There's not that much here that made me go, oh, whoa, that was a lot. That was definitely deserving the R rating. I don't know. I don't see this movie doing very well. It was an all right watch. I could sit through it again. Um, I like the message. You know, it's it's very simple premise. Poachers kill the lions. The lion gets pissed. He starts killing the poachers and anyone else that's in his way. I mean, you go after his pride, he's gonna go after yours. A father and his kids are stuck in the middle of this and they gotta get the hell out. Obviously, this will draw comparisons to Ghost in the Darkness. I would watch that over this any day of the week. That, that's just a funner movie in my opinion, a little bit more scary. I don't know what cameras they're using or if they just really bumped up the brightness in post. Everything in the film feels about 15% too bright. There's not enough contrast. And the night shots, oof, they look rough. They look like you're watching a VHS copy of the movie. There is artifacting everywhere. There's snow all over the night shots. Very, very ugly. I don't know what happened. All right, I've said enough. I'd like to hear from you though. What do you think about the movie if you saw it or are you interested in seeing it now? Let me know in the comments below. I personally think this is one you could wait to stream. I, I, don't, I wouldn't rush out to go to this movie unless you're really bored. It'll entertain, but you will also be uh, pretty frustrated at the same point. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't as I post tons of movie and TV show related content here all the time. It's a good time. It's a lot of fun. And hopefully I'll see you around. Since you made it here to the end of the video, you're probably a subscriber looking for ways to help out the channel. One easy way and free is to join me on TikTok. I'm trying to make a presence over there as well. Just cutting up these videos into shorter segments, giving people a little taste of the flavor they can find for me. That sounded, that sounded sexual. It wasn't supposed to. Anyway, check me out there. You could become a Patreon as well. That's where you're gonna throw some money around. Not much though, there's a dollar tier, a $5, a 10 a month. You just say, Adam, love your content. 
what can you offer me now? Well, if you're a Patreon, you get access to 300 plus exclusive videos. These are good videos too. This isn't like bottom tier crap. No, they're edited, they're polished, and they're just for you.